Hello everyone, welcome back to the cooking simulator tutorial. In today's video we will start working on our order system. And in the next video we will add a time controller for orders. And in the one of the videos near the end of series, we will create a hood for the order system. If you'd like to support the channel you can purchase the assets from the video by link in the description. And you will be able to use them in all your projects. Let's start. Open the blueprints folder and add a new one named orders. Inside this folder create an actor blueprint named BP Order Manager. Open this new class and add a variable named Recipes, which will be an array of type DA Recipe BP. Add all your recipes to this array. Next create an event called Start at Task Timer. At the start of this event call set timer by event. For the event use create event. And choose create a matching event. Name the new event at task. For the timer duration, create a variable named next task delay and set its default value to 5. Enable looping. And promote the timer to a variable named add task timer handle. Now open the add task event. Create a variable named tasks, which will be an array of type DRECPBP. And another variable named max task amount. with a default value of 5. In the add task event, first check if the length of the tasks array is equal to max task amount. If it is, call clear and invalidate timer to stop adding tasks. If it isn't, Get a random recipe from the recipes array and add it to the tasks array. Next create an event named try finish task. Add an input named ingredients. This will be a map of DA food item BP and BPS recipe ingredient. At the start of try finish task, call for each loop with break on tasks array. For each element call compare to check if the task matches to provided ingredients. If the comparison returns true, add another event named finish task with an input finish task index of type integer. This event we will describe a little bit later. For now just call the finish task event when ingredients matches the recipe. and break the for each loop. Next let's implement the finish task event. Start by adding a sequence node. From the first pin of the sequence, get the task by its index and print its display name as a string. From the second pin, call remove index on the tasks array. After that, check if the add task timer handle is valid timer handle. 
If it's not valid, call start a task timer to restart the task timer. Next we need to initialize tasks in begin play. Call a task and start a task timer. This will initialize the first task and then start the timer to our tasks continuously. Now let's display the orders. In this video we will display them as text. Create a function called print tasks. With an input name delta time of type float. Create a local variable named text of type text. At the start of print tasks function, use the for each loop to iterate through the tasks array. Inside the loop body, update the text variable. Use format text to structure the text. In the format string write, in the format string write text and name in curly braces and split it by pipe. For the text pin on the format text node, set it to the local text variable. And for the name pin, use the display name of the current array element. Once the loop completes, call the print text node, set the duration to the delta time, Finally call the print tasks function inside the event seek. Lastly we need to support order manager in order pickup area. Open BP order pickup area. In the begin play event, grab the logic of getting the plate box into a new function called connect with plate boxes. Then use get actor of class to find the BP order manager actor and promote it to a variable named order manager. Next in the grab drop event, replace the recipe checking logic. Instead of this, call try finish task of the order manager before destroying the plate actor. Also delete the test recipes. Now open the level. Add order manager actor. And run the game. As you see recipes are added, and the system works well at this stage. Thank you for your attention and see you soon!